Hi guys, it's Dina with Tali Decor and today we are making Christmas candles. If you haven't seen any of my videos before, hi I am Dina. I make videos on how I make candles and wax molds for my website tallydecor.com and in these videos I also show you guys like testing out new wax and fragrance oil and so on. So don't forget to like and subscribe, it will help me out a lot. The fragrance oil I'm using today is this the season from the flaming candle. The wax I'm using today is IGI 6006. The items you'll need today, a pot for your double broiler, a pouring pitcher, something to stir with, wicks, your vessels, something to pour your fragrance oil in. I use these glass beakers, your fragrance oil, uh, your wax, thermometer, and scales. I'm going to start wicking my vessels and then get into it. My vessels are wicked. I am using these chips clips that I got off Amazon. They came in a pretty big bag and they were fairly cheap. I'm pretty sure I could get them at the dollar store as well, but I found them at Am on Amazon. My pouring pitcher, I have 624 grams of IGI 6006. Here is my fragrance oil. I went a little bit over the 56 grams, but that's not a big deal at all. Turning that on and inserting my thermometer. I know it's really early to be thinking about Christmas, but I've been working on my Christmas boxes. We've been working on my Christmas, my holiday ornament. Um, and this is something exciting that I couldn't wait to get my hands on. I'm trying to make these bubble candles. However, I am noticing some holes in around the wick area. However, this wax was, I no, this wax was 464. Yeah, this wax was 464 that I used. I used this wax only because it was hanging out there. I had a little bit left in the bag and I might as well use it. So that's what I made. I It's still curing. So um, I'm going to test it out regardless of the holes or not. So that way I can mess around a little bit and try to figure out how to get the best outcome from that. Also, I have been making my own vessels. These I am going to pour candle into pour a candle in here today. And I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope this works. I enjoy working with my hands. So this was really fun for me, but it's very time consuming. Giving the wax a little stir. to help it heat up quicker. So the wax is almost heated up. It's at 167 right now. So the wax is at 187 right now and it's all melted. So I'm going to remove my pot from the double broiler and let that temperature come down a bit before I pour in my fragrance oil. So it's at 176 and I'm pouring in my fragrance oil. I'm going to stir this for two minutes. Alexa, start a two minute timer. Two minutes, starting now. My alarm's about to go off. So, I am going to give this a really quick stir. Alexa, stop. So it's at 156 right now and I will be pouring it into my vessels, pouring in the wax into my vessels. Okay. 
So the candles are poured. I'm about to start cleaning up and we will check back on these in a couple hours. It's been now a couple hours and here are the candles. So there you go. I made candles for my Christmas line today. Guys, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It will help me out a lot and have a great day.